<laughs> Greetings, I'm Rob Chaffers. I'm the captain. We're sober. And today we thought we'd show you an SG versus an SG. What kind of SGs, Lee? What would be the point of that? Well, one of them would cost less than the other. Right, so, we know you love the uh, to, to shoot out between Gibson and Epiphone. We know you love just shooting out generally. Most teenage boys do, in fairness. I did. Um, and uh, so we're going to do the most expensive Gibbs, uh, Epiphone SG that we can find in the store versus the cheapest Gibson SG. I can't. Can you? I can't do hand signs with my left hand. Only with my right one. Really? Is that a, is that a disability or something? No, I can do that obviously. But can you do the Vulcan thing both-handed? You can do it left-handed. Can you do this? Can you do this? I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, I a little, can. A little bird told me that the dearest Epiphone SG. Is dearest a colloquialism for England? Is dearest, I think dearest is an Americanism. Oh, sorry, an English an Englishism. thing. Englishism. I don't think, if you're an American, do you know what dear means? If we say that's dear? They go, yeah, we shoot them in a forest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we mean the most expensive, and it is currently the limited edition Tony Iommi Signature SG, mm. which will set you back a princely sum of almost 600 pounds. 589 um, Imperial credits to the realm. Come in. Um, <laughs> and somewhere over okay. here is the Gibson SG Faded, which is the princely, this is the cheapest Gibson SG in the 2017 range. Come in. Uh, and it's 6 dollars So there's about £100 difference between these two. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? You will decide for us now. Cue elevator music. Had Black Sabbath not had uh, Ozzy Osbourne as their frontman, and if had they had Miku Netflix, instead, they had uh, Hatsune Miku. It would have been an the absolute travesty. Could have gone in a different direction, couldn't it? it? Would have been two things. So we're back in the uh, we're back in the demo room. <laughs> Time for affordable SG versus less affordable SG, and that's a different video. Time for most expensive <laughs> Epiphone SG versus most affordable Gibson SG. Kapow! Um, so yeah, we. You guys really seem to, to um, enjoy the video we did where we did the same concept with the Epiphone Les Paul, cheap, the dearest Epiphone Les Paul versus the cheapest Gibson Les Paul, and yet you disagree. They largely. did disagree, and I find that disturbing. Yes. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Um, Rob and I both wholeheartedly felt that the, the cheap Gibson was uh, the better guitar, but they the should have less section, free will. Yes, absolutely. What is, what is the world coming to when people are allowed to say exactly what they want in the comments section? Yeah. Let's go back to a controlled dictatorship. In fact, I challenge you to troll this video as hard as you can. So, we're doing the same with uh, Gibson and Epiphone. Epiphone. SGs. Epiphone. This is the tiny, tiny, tiny Aomi. The, ti the, ti the tiny Aomi. <laughs> it's the yeah, he's tiny Aomi. <laughs> tiny Aomi. Tony Aomi. He's in the place. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back. Tony yeah. Aomi. SG Epiphone. And it's really awesome. It plays great. I've got on the pot on the floor on the pour the immerse reverberator. The, I bought my own pedals with me today. New neighbour immerse reverberator. The Mjolnir from uh, what's the company called? Mythos. Mythos Mjolnir. Is that how you pronounce it? Mjolnir. Mjolnir. I've got my. <laughs> I've got my Tu one, and then Lee bought right. a Miku. So I'm on the crunch Chanel. 
of my Hughes and Kettner, what's the amp called? The Tubemeister. Tubemeister. Tubemeister 40, <coughs> I think. Would it be okay to have a clean tonally? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Absolutely. I turn the reverb off just to get the naked, clean, primordial tone. Very heavy pickup, sir. Because that's a clean tone. They the are the Epiphone, sorry, they are the Gibson Tony Iommi Signature Series. Really? Humbuckers. If I had a Mjolnir onto the clean tone. Get a nice bark. It's got that classic thing that SGs seem to do that Les Pauls don't, which is that slightly upper mid-range barky honky thing. You know what would make it better though? What's that? Is if I had still that uh, Wampler pedal. But yes, you, I haven't that would got make it, it a lot better. Well, yeah. at least in your head it would anyway. Crunch channel plus the Mjolnir and the Immerse reverberator. <laughs> Any of that playing was good, it's because I spent an hour with Paul Gilbert learning about picking. Did you? Which really? I then all immediately disregarded because I couldn't do anything <laughs> he showed me. <laughs> the standard tuition you know, thing where you spend half an hour with someone showing you all the good stuff that you then forget. But really, we afterwards. sat down for, for about 45 minutes to show me the stuff and I went, oh, and then he went, but you know, if, if you're doing fine with your own thing, you can just do that instead. Because you could see on my face like, I can't do that. I can't, <laughs> can't do that at all. Hi Paul. So, so look. I, I quite like the fact that we've picked this Iomi guitar out because regardless of whether or not you, you might buy an Iomi guitar, this is quite typical of how your regular Epiphone, like if you just bought the G400, which is the sort of, you know, the, the 300 pound Epiphone, and up it. So we've got better machine heads, we've got better pickups, we've actually got a better, well, I say better, we've got an ebony fretboard on here, which you couldn't This was a 2015, 2015 model. Ah, fantastic. Well, that's when they first launched the, the Tony, Tony Iomi signature. Um, so it's a cool guitar and it sounded great, but does it sound better or, or does it feel, feel better? better? I think feel is the, is the thing that we decided on the Gibsons was the, was the main thing, wasn't it? Yes. Um, so if we look at the, the faded uh, SG from America, uh, clearly you can see that the, the bulk of the savings that are made on this guitar over say something like an SG standard, which would cost you, you know, over a thousand pounds, probably double, almost double the price of one of these, uh, are a much 
rougher finish. So we haven't got any, we haven't had any sort of filler applied. We haven't had any kind of lacquer applied, just a very thin. Well, but of course we don't know what the state of the wood is underneath this, do we? Because well, we know it's mahogany. This, but, it could, but it could be hiding like four pieces of mahogany. It almost certainly is. Yeah. Uh, well, hiding is probably a slightly unfair, but you know, the reality is if you're going to try and build a guitar out <coughs> of either one or two pieces of wood, you obviously need fairly you need big wood. large pieces of wood to start the cutting from. And that's expensive. Whereas yes. if you can take several pieces of wood and glue them and press them together uh, to form a, a body shape, then yeah. of course- So you know, almost undoubtedly cheaper. this will be three or four pieces of wood glued together and press. Yeah, I'm trying to see on, oh, okay, there's a, there's a join. So there's one and I think there's another join. So this is a three piece body. Okay. I think it's th two or three. Oh, no, no, I take, I take that back. It's That's the only join. It's take two, it back, it's, Lee. It's two pieces. But you'd have a hard time to notice. Well, they do it quite well, don't they? Because because mahogany is such a grainy wood anyway. You know, well, there's so on. much natural hold on a grain. Minute. We're saying mahogany is a grainy wood, but there are like 50 to 60 kinds of mahogany. Oh, okay. Well, the mahogany that Gibson have typically used, which I don't know. Is very porous. It's very grainy. And what it does mean is that you you struggle to really see where the join is. I mean, the jo the join, if you if you can see, is here, but it's not. If it's it's easier to see. Yeah, most of that join is obscured by the scratch plate on the front, so you're only really seeing this little bit here. So anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so as you can see, there's no lacquer, and it's got a slightly rough feel. Uh, there are no inlay, uh, no uh, binding, sorry, on the neck. And the inlays are the simplest dot inlays. There aren't the sort of the crown inlays. See, I have inlays and I've got frets on, oh, sorry, I've got binding and I've got frets on the binding. Yeah. Um, I also have the most bizarre thing to me ever. They've got three screws in the truss rod. Now, I don't know about you, but if you were, not that this is particularly a negative, yeah. but if you're gonna like go and tweak your truss rod, you've got three screws to undo. That's Why do you need three screws? Pretty normal on, on uh, well, because. Really? Isn't uh, there only one? No, I've only don't. ever known one screw. How many screws in your truss rod cover? Two. Gibson's two, everyone's three. On everything. He's right. He's, He's right, right, you know. That's what Epiphone I, that's used what I the three screw good. method. Gibson used the two screw method. Debate below. <laughs> three screws? Is three is screws better, better than, than two <laughs> screws? Uh, but it depends who you're screwing, I suppose. Um, or what you're screwing, sorry, not who. What am I talking about? Um, so. Clearly, this guitar... Play it! There aren't many sort of like clean SG players, are there really? No, that just sounds better. Uh, but it does sound good. It's a big amp, in fairness, a good amp. Uh, with some gain from my trusty JHS Andy Timmons overdrive. <laughs> Does a thing. I can feel <coughs> this, consciously feel this vibrating. Nice. You know, even with relatively, you know, turn everything down. I can feel it here vibrating. I can feel it really vibrating through this hand. Even a little bit in my body. Sounds great. Let me feel the difference in vibrations. Um, can I point out one design improvement on that guitar? What, where the jack goes yeah. in? I think this might be an Iomi thing, because I think on what, the normal... Having a jack lead that isn't poking out yeah, like a little tiny penis. Well, you, blah, just blah, use blah, a, blah, blah. <laughs> you just use a right angle jack. When you, right, let's go for the vibration wait, wait. test. Still vibrates here. Almost exactly the same. Yeah, it's vibrating. Although, I tell it... More in the neck on this one. Yeah, you can't feel it through the body so much on this one. Oh, you can actually, that's not true. No, but the neck on this one vibrates more than the neck on that one. Yes. It's a little bit like when you've been um, riding a bike for a long time and you get your hands go like that kind of funny buzz. Thing. Let me do the A chord test. Here we go.
robot taught you that, eh, didn't he? Try and see what it's like playing right at the top on that SG. I've got two more frets. Good run. Thank you, so, sir. So, look, I think we should try and be a bit more scientific. So, okay, this one has a good D. You try, and then this one. It's darker. It's a lot darker. <laughs> Count the seconds. How many was that? Three and a half. Three and a half. Today, I can tell you, I thoroughly regret buying this Miku pedal. <laughs> so, seriously? Yeah. They both play really well. They both play really well. This one doesn't have the rolled edges that that one has. No. So it has a little bit kind of more on the thumb side, feels a little bit like. But mm. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say. These frets are a little tiny bit cheeky. Yeah, I mean, actually, just again, a tiny bit. Turn your distortion pedal off. It's off. R run your fingers along those frets. Yeah, they're they're good. That's silky smooth like a baby's bottom. I should now go to baby. These are a t oh, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I, I just a little it's tiny a, bit. It's funny, isn't it? Because it, it's just. It's run of the mill. What, what's what's the the an analogy or the metaphor that we can get? You know, this is the. Um, this is kind of Usain Bolt, but potentially in a fairly shabby pair of trainers and you know bad, uh, you know bad running outfit, running over maybe slightly kind of uneven ground, and this is kind of like Ben Johnson, fully steroided up, but really you know he didn't really run as fast as he actually ran because. <laughs> Such a, a great kid. analogy. I, I have no what idea. A Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs, kids. Because you'll end up becoming an analogy with, in, in, a one, in a video a with video. Captain. Yeah. Actually, so many people would probably like to be an analogy in one of these videos that we probably have started a huge uh, drug, uh, you, you know, use. You know, so I, don't do drugs because I've got to say a thank you'll you. never be on the. I've got to say a thank you. Who to? I've got to say a thank you, but I, I'm afraid I can't pronounce. Who I can't pronounce his name. I'm really sorry. But when Rabia and I were in Norway recently, yeah. there was a chef. Yeah. The chef. The chef. You know who you are. What, he gave me he gave me balls, yeah. he gave me two things other than cooking for us lots of mm. food. In fact there were several chefs. But this particular chef That's wore black transmitted disease. But he wore black outfit and um we, he a really he, bad cold sore. After giving me some amazing food, he went, I have a present for you. And he went off, he came back. Close your eyes, it is a huge hot dog. Uh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it was a massive sausage. He came back and gave me this massive sausage. <laughs> and uh, I was like, what is it? And he was like, uh, animal, animal like this. 
And I'm like, is it a reindeer? Am I eating Santa sausage? And he went, no, no, it was an elk sausage. Oh, okay. And then he went off after I'd eaten my six burgers that he made me and he bought me a bag of dill. But at first glance, I didn't know it was a bag of dill. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? Look, <laughs> thank you. What are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> dill. I've got a six week old baby. Wasn't that the herb that all 13 year old boys finding their mothers covered and smoke it just to see what I, happens? I don't know. It sure tasted delicious and I feel completely and fine though. Happens. So thank you very much. It well, was a bag of dill. As in, just a sack of dill. Why? Because I, mean, I loved it on my that's potatoes. Just, that's you just made a me. herb that you would, you know. Sort yeah, of... it was really fresh. Wow. Thank you. You're the best. A bag of no doubt. It... You can't beat that story. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to try. I don't even know that. It, I don't even understand that story. But I was it's given an elk sausage and a bag of dill in Norway. That's the story. Finish Which one's video. better? You choose. Is it A? Have we been scientific enough for you? Please comment in, this, in the comment section below. The, the Les Paul video went so well. I'm feeling this one I, less so. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one feels better. Sounds better. And, and hold on, hold on. Definitely sustained longer. They both feel the same, but this one does sound better. So, and how much difference in price? 100 pounds. Camo differential pre -chain. I mean, obviously you can buy a non-signature Epiphone Les Paul with the, with the, the, the regular Epiphone pickup yeah. for way less than this, like for like half the price of this one. So I wonder you know, if maybe, Tony uses the darker pickups because he uses a really bright amp. I suspect Tony uses his full-fledged Gibson version rather than his Epiphone version. So it probably gets the goodness of all these pickups with the goodness of this wood and everything. I wonder if he took those covers off whether it would be brighter. I wonder if you took these cupboards off. Cupboards? Cupboards off. I can't f*** it. I wonder if you took these cupboards off. You'd find a bag of dill and a sausage. Yeah. I've been Rob Chappers. I've been the captain. See you later. This is the worst video we've done all day. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's just jam out. <laughs>